this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to flash the MIUI 12.5 on the Redmi K20 Pro with a custom recovery in this case the latest Orange Fox recovery and as you can see I have downloaded it from here and I'll link this post the telegram post in the description box below so do not worry the file size is quite large let me actually show you here is the file it is about 3 GB I would say and this is the full file name if you are noticing xiaomi.eu rom this is by the way and this is the redmi k20 pro or mi 90 pros variant and this is a multilingual variant so it does include the gapps and stuff or the google play store stuff and i have also downloaded the magisk 21.2 but first i will try with the fcrypt disabler which i use with all the roms because my storage is decrypted and i'll see if it works by the way i am on the latest corvus os if you are noticing this is the Corvus version 12.5. This has been working totally fine. This ROM has a lot of features and I have been enjoying it, this ROM a lot. But I have already made a Corvus 12.0 video which you can watch from the card right there. The 12.5 is even better. This is the Christmas edition kind of. This is the 24th December build I guess. Yes, as you can see from the build it has December security patch and stuff. And you can definitely flash this ROM. You can watch the 12.0 video, the Corvus 12.0 from the card right there again. Because this ROM is pretty similar to the 12.0. And I would say the 12.5 again, it, it is even better. Has ANX camera and stuff as stock. So here I have backed up everything almost. WhatsApp is getting backed up over the cloud. And for other backups like my contacts and messages, I use the Google App Data Backup. If you don't know how to do that, you can click on the card right there again. And since I am moving from a custom ROM to MIUI ROM, I would say I might need to format data. So I have backed up everything. So if you are doing this from a custom ROM to that MIUI 12.5, make sure you have backed up all your own files to a PC or somewhere, somewhere safe, especially because you might have to format data and you might lose all of your data. So make sure you back up before flashing any kind of ROM, I would say. Especially if you're switching from MIUI to a custom ROM or custom ROM to MIUI. Okay, so the backup stuff is done. Right now, I'll boot into the recovery. And by the way, my Orange Fox recovery version from here, as you can see, is R11.0 underscore one. This is the latest Orange Fox recovery for the Redmi K20 Pro I am using here. And again, if you do not know how to install Orange Fox recovery on this device, card right there right now let me just head towards the home and here i'll just wipe first so i'll select dalvi cache system vendor and data then i'll swipe to wipe i'm not formatting data yet i'm just willing to see if it will work with the fcrypt disable so right now i went to the download folder and from here i select the rom file itself then add to queue then let's select the fcrypt disabler which I use. Right now let's just see. Okay, so it's flashing already. Okay, so my camera somehow stopped recording somehow but I'm not really sure what happened. But let me tell you what happened. It flashed the ROM with the fcrypt disabler. And here I have the boot animation, but I'm not really into the setup wizard, of course, three to four minutes as of right now. So let's wait and hope that it boots. All right, so it has successfully booted into the UI as you can see, and it is showing the setup wizard. So that is a great thing that you can switch to this ROM from a custom ROM if your storage is decrypted with just flashing the fcrypt disabler like you do with any other ROM. You just flash the ROM and fcrypt disabler and you reboot to a custom ROM. That's the same process you can flash this MIUI 12.5 ROM, especially the EU based ROM I would say. So here, let me just complete the setup. And this is how the VO Wi-Fi icon looks like. And as you can see, we have the Wi-Fi connected and there is a battery icon here. And it is showing me my Google app data backup. So I'll restore it from here. Right now, let's just hit restore. So I'll set up a pin over here and it is showing this screen fingerprint scanner kind of stuff. So let me just set up the fingerprint scanner. Well, the haptic feedback here, I would say it is pretty harsh. Already I can say that. Of course we can lower that down from the settings. This fingerprint setting up is done. So I'll click done. All right, so it still does not give me an option to add another finger. 
all right so it is giving me an option to actually use the pixel launcher or the system launcher i'll use the system launcher here let's see okay so this is the typical miui launcher not the poco launcher here and it is saying some kind of data warning already okay so if i swipe up it gets me to a weird place i think this is all right i don't know what it what is this this is actually a search option let me actually clean it and this is how the recent panel looks like as you can see we have this cleaner security deep clean manage apps and stuff of course we have this floating windows and here we actually have the home screen show memory status here i'll block these suggestions double tap to lock okay so we have it so yeah this is how it looks all right so fin fingerprint scanner looks really really dope as you can see if you are noticing this animation here looks pretty dope in my opinion again if you look closely it has this kind of glow on the sides i think because it is downloading something in the background so yes right now let's just tap over here and it unlocks just right away now let's check the camera here okay so i'll allow all of this so this is the miui camera and yeah it is working fine the front camera and stuff is working fine let's switch to the portrait mode and on the back as well yep the portrait mode is working fine it seems and in the more settings we have some more options of course we have the slow motion and stuff and in the video let me show you we have the 4k 60 fps option let me actually choose it and as you can see it is working fine over here and even in the front camera we have up to 1080p 30 fps option for the front camera so still we have all those options and of course you can shoot 960 fps slow mo i guess let me go back from here okay so we are still using the nav buttons so right now let me actually pull down the quick settings panel here is how it looks like again and if i swipe up more again we have this quick settings panel and you can swipe just like this so yeah we have the dark mode turned on let me actually disable it let's go into the settings this is how the settings panel looks like let's go into the additional settings and let's enable this full screen gestures so you can actually hide this i guess swipe up from corners for google assistant i have enabled that and as you can see it is working fine but there is a little bit of delay i would say let me actually go back from here and we have this my device section and this is how it looks looks pretty dope as you can see we have this miui version as miui 12 does it go here no okay so it does and if you are noticing this very small font shows me by 12.520.12.28 weekly build of course and here is how the logo looks like we still have this kind of animation of me y and here it shows me 90 pro and all these specs over here if you go down we have this all specs section we have the android version as android 11 of course here all right okay so as you can see the android version is of course android 11 right now here let me go back so this is great the redmi k20 pro actually like received kind of a beta update on miui with android 11 already so this is great very good start of 2021 in my opinion and this is how the stock dialer or in call ui looks like as you can see we of course have the call recording option and stuff then we have the loudspeaker video call option and stuff like that and view wi-fi is actually working fine right out of the box of course and this is how the recent panel looks like as you can see you can swipe a app just like this to clear it or you can tap here to go to that app's info or you can hold a particular app just like this to actually lock it or make it to split screen or something if that app supports it or maybe floating window if you are using that now here i'll be daily driving with this rom and i'll try to make a full review out of this and here we have the display settings and stuff pretty much looks great with these kind of things if you are noticing and we have the schedule dark mode brightness level reading mode anti flicker or deceiving and also you can set the colors like scheme kind of over here we have the saturated standard everything else if you like cool kind of colors you can also set that if you want to let me go back we have the font settings so you can actually customize the font size 
everywhere and we have the full screen mode per app i guess and we have this allow all rotation and stuff like that the sound and vibration and here is how it looks like let me actually see the volume panel okay so this is new the volume panel let me actually show you looks pretty cool okay so this is how you reduce the volume or increase it or decrease it and you can click here and it looks like this pretty much ios style kind of look over here i would say and here we also have this sound assistant i don't know what it does let me go back we have this do not disturb mode and we have this do not disturb mode scheduling option then we have vibrate for calls of course i'll enable that vibrate in silent mode is enabled and vibrate on tap i'll actually like put it to light and we have profile video for incoming calls something like that additional settings is there we can actually disable the charging sound unmute sound screenshot sound everything else so this is great and we have the delete sound and stuff and by the way the volume panel like in the volume panel you can put the phone into vibrate or silent just from here and this animation looks pretty cool also there are these hi-fi audio then adjust sound to your phones equalizer volume adjustment and this headphone remote control options are there now inside notifications we have these kind of notification settings we have the this control center style so you can actually change it i guess so that is pretty cool you can actually switch to the new version okay so this is how the new version looks like so you have to switch it from here and this is how it looks pretty dope i would say it looks super close to ios not gonna lie so if you are someone who likes that way kind of thing and the background blur and stuff looks very dope in my opinion but yes if you're someone who loves this kind of look or if you want to go back to the older look you can switch to it from here so that is great that you can actually switch and inside this always on display as you can see we have all these settings and from here on the always on display we have all these options this is in dark pretty sure it doesn't work with white theme for some reason as you can see it shows everything in dark but if i go back everything is in white mode so yeah here we have a custom image adding option still and we have all these analog clocks then we have all these like kaleidoscope kind of things and we have these digital clocks looks pretty cool i would say and here we have all these again so pretty much a lot of options for the always on display as you can see and here we have this notification effect so this is really really cool and you can have all these kind of notifications i guess let me go back we have this sleep timer you can put it to never if you want to we have raise to wake double tap to wake or turn off the screen feature is there we have the power menu access i'm not really sure what it does okay so this is how it looks like the power menu looks dope in my opinion and you can pull it down if you want to reboot or pull it up if you want to power off i guess let me go back we have the wallpaper carousel and the side panel shortcuts this i'm not really sure what it does let me go back we have this display charging animation after device is locked and from this charging animation settings we can actually change the charging animations and we have this glow wave and like the flow and you can turn it off we have the launch camera option and the pocket mode is there if, if you want to disable or enable that and lastly i thought about doing one more test here so i'll just hold the volume up and the power button together so that i can boot into the recovery and let's see if i am encrypted in the recovery or not so we have the orange fox logo seems like good news we are still decrypted on our storage as you can see if i go into the adm folder here as you can see i can see all the files so that means my storage is still decrypted that is amazing that you can switch to custom rom to miui without okay so hello mosquito so we can switch to like miui from a custom rom without actually formatting the data I wasn't expecting this but I'm pretty happy about it. And by the way talking about the wallpapers these are the system wallpapers that you get. These are pretty cool looking wallpapers as you are noticing. There is this dynamic nebula kind of stuff minimalism wallpapers and then we have this geometry ones looks pretty dope again. All these wallpapers looks very very beautiful in my opinion. And by the way, if I double tap here, this is how the always on display looks like. And if I double tap, this is how the lock screen looks like. Looks pretty dope, I would say. Let me actually unlock from the lock screen and yeah. So from the fingerprint unlock settings in the security, we can actually change the fingerprint animation. And as you can see, this is how the default one looks like. And we have this starlight option too, looks cool. And this Aurora option, then we have this pulse. These like four animations are there. Let me actually show you with this last one. 
Okay, so looks pretty cool in my opinion. So yes, that is how you can flash the MIUI 12.5 on your Redmi K20 Pro. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. And do wait for the full review of this ROM, which will be coming soon after I'll test it for a couple of days now. So yeah, thanks for watching this video guys. Share this video with your friends if you want them to know how to flash this ROM on their Redmi K20 Pro. And subscribe again if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today. I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.